So I've had the question several times throughout the last couple of weeks and the, and the question is, should I consider a pre-existing home or a new construction home? And as with most, most things, there's gonna be pros and cons to each and I wanna go ahead and break down those pros and cons. Um, but with the level of inventory, the shortage of inventory that we currently have on the market right now, it's definitely something to keep in mind. You know, keep your options open when you're when you're shopping for a home. So let's go ahead and break down again the the pros and cons of each, and see which route may just be the best one for you and your family. Okay, so when trying to purchase a new construction home, you're gonna see some benefits you just may not see with a pre-existing older home. And to start off, the newer home is more likely gonna be more energy efficient. You know, that house is gonna have brand spanking new windows, it's gonna have a new roof, it's gonna have brand new appliances. And you know, with the technology nowadays, with how they're insulating the house, at the end of the day, you're gonna be saving a lot of money on those energy costs. And if you're looking at it throughout the year, that's gonna be a lot more money right back in your pocket, making that investment that much sweeter. So uh, it's definitely something to consider when you're shopping around. And another thing you're gonna have is the ability to, well, first of all, it's gonna be less less maintenance that you're gonna to have to deal with. You know, with the pre-existing older home, you're gonna have leaky faucets throughout the house you're gonna to have to deal with more than likely. You're gonna have shutters that you're gonna to have to paint. You're gonna have, you know, these little odd jobs throughout the house that you're gonna to have to deal with that. With a new construction house, you, you may, you just may not have to deal with. So, and another thing that you're gonna have with the new construction home, or if you're, if you're working with a, a contractor, is a warranty program that they may provide for three to four years that will cover uh, certain things that may go out throughout the house. So all these things are something you definitely have to kind of mold over and think about when you're out there shopping for a new home and just, and just weigh out those pros and cons that determine what's gonna be the best route for you and your family. So just like new construction, pre-existing and older homes are going to also have some benefits. And to, well, to start off, you're, you're likely going to have the ability to negotiate on the price. With a new construction home, that builder knows the price of the materials. They know the price it costs to, to build the home. So trying to work them down and negotiate on that price is going to be a very, very difficult thing to do. So if negotiating on a, de a, a deal is is close to your heart, near and dear to your heart, you know, looking at a pre-existing home is probably the route you want to go. And another thing that's important to a lot of people is feeling like you're in a well-established neighborhood. So being in a older neighborhood with pre-existing older homes, you know, if you want that sense of community and just well-establishedness, you know, that's something that you should probably look at because a lot of times with new construction, you know, they haven't established you know, travel routes of travel, there's no trees, everything's just kind of blank slate still, it's just very new. So again, if you're looking at something that's, that feels established and been around for a while, then look at that pre-existing neighborhood in that, you know, that older neighborhood because that just might be the route that's best for you. And lastly, timing. You know, if you're, if you're trying to get into a home sooner than later, you know, with new construction, that process could take six to 12 months, if not longer. And especially nowadays with the coronavirus situation we're going through, the construction process has taken much longer for a lot of companies than, than expected. So if you're needing to get into a home sooner, looking at that pre-existing home and that older home just may be the route that, that might be best for you. So again, the best thing to do is weigh out the pros and cons to each situation and just figure out what's best for you and your family. So the bottom line is, whether you're trying to buy a new construction home or a pre-existing home, each one is gonna have some pros and cons. So just like we were taught so many years ago, pull out that sheet of paper, write out your pros and cons, and that'll help determine which is gonna be the best route for you and your family. And as always, if you need some professional help and advice on this process, give me a call, shoot me a text, shoot me an email, and I'm here to help you and your family at the end of the day. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. Thank you.